118.6 million working days were lost because of sickness or injury in the UK in 2020, equating to 3.6 days lost per worker. Employee absence is a significant cost for many organisations, yet research suggests that many employers do not monitor that cost. This is one of the reasons that we have developed iTrend Absence Analytics with Power BI. We unleash your people data via our cloud-based data model, giving you the tools to easily visualise, analyse and distribute this information throughout your organisation. What does that mean for you? It allows you to prove legitimacy to make an impact in the boardroom and to move people data to the heart of strategic decision making. Let's take a look at this out of the box dashboard, which can be implemented within your business in a matter of hours. The absence overview page gives you a full overview of employee absence instantly. The perfect solution for quickly updating senior management. There's easy navigation within the app and we can navigate our way through the pages using the navigation pane down the left hand side or the navigation buttons across the top. The main measures used throughout this app can be seen across the top. And in this app, we'll be looking at headcount, FTE, instances, days lost, average days lost, absence rate and absence cost. Underneath the main measures, we can see variances. And this highlights any changes which have taken place on a month by month basis or year on year basis. We can also see this over a period of time, such as year to date, financial year to date and rolling 12 months. The charts below also change to represent your selection. And we can see a breakdown of generation and gender, frequency by absence type, and our planned versus unplanned absences. The variance analysis page allows us to select multiple years to identify variances between those years. For example, how have my days lost changed from one year to the next? This can be filtered by department, absence type and absence term. There is also a filter pane on the right hand side and this can be found on all of the pages within the app. This allows us to slice and dice the information, for example, by narrowing down a particular part of the organisation. You can apply some simple filters here. Trend analysis allows us to view historical data and trends looking over whatever period of time we choose and we can do this by using the date slider at the top. We can identify any peaks and troughs in our days lost, instances, cost of leave, average days lost per employee and absence rate. We can burst this information out to look closer at the image. We can also show the information as a table so we can see the tabular data that sits behind the visualisation. Departmental comparison allows us to directly compare departments to identify which departments have high absence rates. We can drill through to a structure analysis where we can get down into the detail to see where those absences sit. Department view allows us to select specific department and then we can view this by days lost versus availability, planned versus unplanned absences and days lost by absence group. Again, we can see the tabular data that sits behind this below. The absence calendar feature gives us a full overview of calendar year, identifying any hotspots in our absences. We can select a specific date and view the detail that sits behind that. 
We can also use the filter pane on the right hand side to filter by specific absence groups. For example, if we just wanted to look at sickness, we can highlight which days have our highest sickness. Another view of this is absence record monthly. This allows us to look on a month by month basis. We can select a specific year and month using the drop down. And then we can view that data that sits behind that. And we can filter the tabular data by sickness type. Absence triggers allows us to use the slider to de determine a period of time we'd like to look over and we can quickly see absence rates by employee highlighting potential individuals to monitor and we can quickly see Bradford factor rates. Again, we can filter this by department, absence type and absence term. So this is iTrend Absence Analytics with Power BI, the perfect solution to develop a business that is connected by data. But why is it so good? We unleash the potential of your people data and move it to the heart of decision making. Dynamic reporting offers flexibility and customization, enabling you to tell your own story. It is a single trusted source of information which enables instant overview of employees and further detailed deep dive analysis. There's no need to work across multiple spreadsheets where issues around data security version control and data accuracy may occur. You can use current and historical data to support absence management. You can understand where, when and why you're losing working days and what impact this has upon the business. It allows you to provide vital data and analysis with legitimacy to influence management and strategic business decision making. And this can all be shared at touch of a button all built on, upon our cloud-based iTrend People Analytics data model, which allows you to make people data a key asset within your business without the infrastructure headache. If you would like to know more, please don't hesitate to contact us or your customer relationship manager.